Alright guys, back for another video today. So we're going to go over some of the kit that I bring out to the field with me. Okay, so we're going to make this really quick. I'm not going to sit there and belay the point. <clears throat> so we're going to go straight into the kit that I bring out to the field. Okay, so this is all stuff that's very, very important. I will show you guys right here. Okay, so you can kind of see kind of more of a wider view of everything you and my other bow that's sitting there on the counter that I bring out to the field with me. Okay. <clears throat> So we're going to go into some of the kit. Candles just for effect. <laughs> uh, it's always good to have a lighter with you anyways. Okay, so I'm going to start off with glove. I always make sure I bring my shooting glove. In fact, that's one of the first things that I make sure that I have with me. Because shooting that bow right there, uh, that would hurt. And that's one of the easiest things to forget is shooting glove. Okay, and I have this other glove over here. It's an old army glove that I used to use back in the day when I was in the army. Um, that's for like extreme backup out of luck, right? Okay. Now I also have my, uh, it's like a little shorter knife with me as well. Just to, you know, something simple, have an ax. Don't know why, but I always have that with me. Got my actual knife. It's actually here, here, right here. You guys have seen me train with that all the time. I have, so have my, my two Screamer Collie sticks. Always bring a pair of these bad boys with you. And the reason why I say that is because at one point the knock broke off of one of my arrows, right? Which left, left like a piece stuck all the way in here. So I wouldn't have been able to replace that knock if I didn't have a pair of pliers. So I had to do is I had to reach, grab the pliers, and reach inside in here and pull out the rest of the, of the knock. So I also have uh, this guy here. I guess I can use my arrow to <laughs> point out some of the stuff, okay? This will, I can set up targets. So it's like a little mallet. I can set up targets, you know, hammer some stuff into the ground. I want to hang up some, uh, like, a, like some targets to shoot um, as well. I have, I have three quivers, by the way, guys. I have three quivers. I have this green one right here, which is the cheapest, and then this one right here, and then this one with the American flag on top, as you can see. Now, here's another piece of equipment that is very, very important. Okay, I have a XL450 Halo range finder, okay? Really, really simple. Uh, you can go to your local Walmart. You can go to any shop and purchase one of these bad boys. You can find, I can do is I can you know, hit the power button on the top, right? There's different modes on here as well. And then I can look and see how far I've set my target up. So I can just stand back, set my target up, even practice, okay? What I'll do is I'll practice guessing. So I'll guess, okay, I set my target up at a certain distance, right? And then what I'll do is I'll guess the the uh, the length, right? The, the How far away the target is. And then what I'll do is I'll check, I'll verify to see how accurate I am, okay? So I just want to make sure that I'm accurate and that I'm not, uh, uh, don't know distance. Distance is very, very important in archery. And I don't recommend shooting past 20 yards, 25 tops, 20 yards, really. You shouldn't, with the recurve, you shouldn't be shooting out that far, especially if you're hunting, okay? So this is all the equipment that I basically train with. So that's very important, right? I spent like about, I don't know, 80 bucks on one of these, right? And then, of course, my old trusty target, right? So this is for accuracy. Once again, I spent like... 50, 50 bucks on this, on this target. It's, it's a decent target. Now you might say, what's all the spread over here? You got to remember, I have a wife and kids that like to shoot. So they are learning. It's too cold to shoot right now outside. So I don't really go on outside, but this is for um, my accuracy side. And then if I want to switch it around, right? To get my precision, to work on my precision shooting, then I'll try to aim for those spots, okay? So that's all of the stuff that I bring. Obviously, I have my bow staff, trusty bow staff with me. You're not, okay, some people say, you know, isn't your, isn't your chart, your channel called the Canon Archer, you know? Yes, I do other things. Archers don't, back in medieval days, archers did not just know how to, how to shoot, okay? They know how to do other things. They can pull, once they are out of arrows, they can pull out their, their weapons and, and get into the battle, in the thick of battle with everybody else and fight just like everybody else. 
Once again, you cannot be a one track dimensional minded person, right? You have to learn different, um, you have to learn different things, okay? If all you know how to do is archery, make good on you, but you should learn other skills, okay? Um, you could be a great archer, but if you can't throw a punch, right, then what good are you, right? I, I say this thing in a lot of my other videos is make sure that you train in other disciplines. Yes, you can have your main, right? Have your main discipline, but learn other things, okay? For me, my stuff, I like boxing, okay? I like boxing, I like knife fighting. I have collie sticks, bow staff. Bow staff is probably my second favorite, um, right? So you can learn different stuff. You don't have to just do the exact same thing and think, okay, I'm a really good archer or I'm really good with guns, but I can't do anything else, right? You should know how to use other things, right? Other things, right? Is your body a living weapon, right? Are you a living, this organism, right? If you are, can you defend yourself? Can you protect yourself? Can you learn how to use different parts of your body, right? You know how to, you know how to throw a punch. You know how to throw a kick. Do you know how to do all the things that's required of a, of, of a human being, right? So my channel is a little different than, than the average channel. A lot of, most channels, if it's going to be like an archery channel, it's just going to be straight archery and basically nothing else. Well, my channel is a little bit more well-rounded where I show you guys other things that I do, not just archery, okay? I'm going to post some clips here in a little bit on my actual archery skills. So you guys don't think, okay, is this guy like, can he even hit the target? I can hit the target, okay? So I have some first person. I also have some some close quarters archery that I do. Okay, my channel's different. It's different. If you want to, some people say, why don't you just buy a gun? Well, go to a gun channel. Grand Thumb, there's other people out there that will show you the, the guns. They'll show you the different stuff. My channel is strictly archery. Archery, martial arts, stuff like that, unconventional, you know, type self-defense. Not really, okay, you know, guns. Other people, they, that's what they do on their channel. Channels archery. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Please like, subscribe, please. It helps uh, me out. I'm almost at four, 457 subscribers. So, if we can get to like 500 subscribers, that would be great. Please, that would be great. So, hit that subscribe button, guys. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, share. Talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Peace.